everybody, welcome to another Adam Gibbs mini adventure. All right, now I just left Strathcona Provincial Park this morning. Uh, if you watched last week's video, I decided to spend an extra night there and well, it just absolutely poured overnight and in the morning it wasn't much better. So I've driven out east towards uh, a town called Campbell River, which is on the east coast of Vancouver Island. And I've come out to a provincial park called Elk uh, Falls Provincial Park. Now Elk Falls, I've been to uh, once before, many, many years ago, and it's changed quite a bit since I was last here. They've built a whole bunch of new structures, including a pretty impressive uh, bridge over, over a gorge. Now right now, I'm kind of more interested in the forest that surrounds uh, the falls. Uh, even though this area has been logged, there are some pretty impressive large trees in the area uh, that haven't uh, succumbed to the, the axe of, uh, of loggers. Now, right now I'm concentrating on these big green leaves here. This is actually called skunk cabbage. And early in the spring, you'll get these big yellow flowers coming up from the ground and they smell well, almost like skunk. But as the season goes on, the, the flowers fade and these leaves just keep growing bigger and bigger. So they're pretty impressive. They usually grow in really swampy areas and it's actually quite wet around this area. So what I'm trying to do is use these leaves in the foreground with some pretty impressive cedars in the background. Now again, as usual, the, the cedars get quite lost with the wide angle lens that I'm using. Uh, so the photograph is really more about the foreground than the, um, the background. But the background kind of gives a, a nice little, uh, it tells a little story of where I am and, and of the rainforest uh, environment. So what I've done here is I have this uh, leaf uh, in the foreground and another one to the right. And then I have a small grouping in the middle. And I'll kind of go over my thinking with you. Uh, I'll show you the back of my camera and we'll kind of see if uh, the composition is going to work or not. I mean, in my mind, looking at it, it, it works quite well, but I know that as soon as I open up in Photoshop or Lightroom, uh, then I'll probably have some different thoughts on the whole composition. Okay, now I'm just umming and ahhing of whether I should be using a, a polarizer on this or not. You'll notice that the leaves have quite a bit of glare. I'm not sure if that's going to help the image or detract from the image. So I'll take a few images without a polarizer and then I'll take some with to get rid of this, this glare in the leaves here. But as you can see what I've done, I've actually centered the cedars in the background here. And then I have these two uh, prominent leaves in the foreground. And what I've tried to do is I have this leaf going out to the right, but then I have a fern that kind of veers in to the left to try and keep your eye into the frame and direct it over towards the cedar. Okay, then on this side I have this uh, leaf veering over to the left with other leaves coming in from the left to try and keep your eye in the frame. And then up the top here, right here, I have some fresh green needles of the, of the uh, evergreen kind of veering down into the base of the, uh, the cedars in the background. Now in theory this kind of works for me. I'm not really sure about this area here. It looks a little bit empty uh, but I'm sure with a bit of uh, manipulation uh, by dodging and burning I could probably make that look pretty pretty nice. It looks great on the back of the camera and it looks great looking at it in real life but we'll see how it works out um, as a final image.
Uh, this is quite a, a pleasant little scene. Uh, I, I think what I like about it is the, the um, repetition of the shapes of the trees. They kind of mimic one another except going the opposite way, especially down. There's one that curves over to the right and then one that curves over to the left. Um, but what I kind of wanted to portray in this image is uh, try to show some of the, the large trees in this area. Now this Sitka spruce, I think that's what it is, is not massive, but it's, it's pretty big. And one of the ways that I, that I try to make a tree look bigger is by not including the whole tree, just a section of it rather than the whole base or the trunk of it. And that way it kind of gives the viewer uh, you know, visual cues that this tree could be really massive or it could just be quite small, but it's usually the opposite. It, it, it makes it, by just including a part of it rather than all of it, it makes it look quite large, if that kind of makes sense. I'll show you two examples of what I mean. I'll take one image where I've backed off and I'll show the whole kind of base of the tree. And then I'll take another one. Uh, I'll get closer to the trunk of the tree with a wide angle lens to try to emphasize it. And uh, the background will, I'll try to keep it more or less the same size as the first image. And then you can kind of compare the two and, and, and hopefully you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. All right, and that's it for this week's video. Now, you may have noticed that the footage was from two different locations. The reason being is that uh, the video I'd actually taken for uh, my regular videos, uh, but the, the videos were just getting way too long, so I, I had to cut some out. But I thought the information was somewhat useful. Uh, let me know in the comments below if, if you found it useful or if you just found it totally useless. I won't be offended. <laughs> uh, now then, for the next uh, several weeks, I'm going to be away. I'm, I'm off to the Rockies. Um, I have a couple of workshops that I'll be doing there and also a couple of small trips. So I won't have an awful lot of content on my, uh, on my channel, but if you go to the homepage and in the titles there, you'll see uh, one called Community. And if you click on that, uh, you'll see some of my latest uh, photographs if you wanna have a closer look at those. Uh, I'll also be posting what I'm up to and when my next video will be out. And every now and then I'm going to be putting a poll up there, um, mostly to try and find out what you kind of want to see on my channel. And also I have a couple of projects that I, I'd like to work on, but I kind of want to get an idea if, if it's worth my while or not. So please be sure to, uh, you know, just tick the, the, uh, the polls. And also if you want to leave a comment, that would be great. All right, everybody, I really hope that you have an, an excellent fall of shooting. And uh, I guess I'll see you either at the end of September or the beginning of October. All right. Thanks ever so much. Bye bye.